Welcome back to Land and River Fishing. In this episode, a little bit different style video. This is uh, episode number 100 for the channel, and we have no footage. We've had terrible weather in uh, Victoria and haven't been able to get out or haven't had any luck when we have gotten out. Before we get stuck into this video, I just want to say a massive thank you to those who have subscribed, liked, commented on our videos. Uh, it really helps the channel grow. So yeah, thanks for all the support in the first 100 vids. All right, in the first part of this video, we're going to run through our bloopers and our best funny moments we've had in the first 100 videos on our channel. And in the second half of the video, we're going to go through our top 10 captures. We hope you enjoy. We're on, we're on. We're on. Oh, was that him up top? What's that? Oh. Right, eh? There she is. This is gummy number two for the day. <laughs> <laughs> right. Turn around and send him. Not really, but... <laughs> All right, here we go. Time for our bloopers and best funny moments. In here, we've got some poor fish handling, some broken rods, bad net shots. Ash has a habit of forgetting the mugs, but at the end of the day, we're out there having a bit of fun. So enjoy these funny clips. <laughs> 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 You right? <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> <laughs> he just feel the weight is up. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ash is just himself right up. I've got to go. It's out. It's out of the fish. Quickly, just to the camera. Bye. <laughs> um. He's gone. Freaking every time we go schoolie, we have a bloody tackle fail. This time the net. This is what happened. Yeah, sinker, sinker. Ah. Ah. Not ideal. I've got a snap rod from the last eagle. And now I've got a snapper. Yes, he might be alright too. Oh, no, he's at the point of 
rod. There it is. Snapper on a snap rod. <laughs> Spam fishing. That's the number. Nice. Rookie mistake. Uh, Milo in a Migo <laughs> forgot the cups. Forgot the mug. Forgot the mugs? It must have been a too early a start for me. That's gonna cut all my fingers. Lost nine. Like that neck though. But if he gets off, he gets off. Oh no. Not good. <laughs> Gave me a Full blast, this guy. Alright, there we have it. Our best funny moments, all done. First hundred videos. That was quite fun editing those up. There's uh, some funny moments in there. Now, next part of this video, we're going into our top 10 catches in the first 100 vids. So, coming in at number 10, this is actually the very first video I put up on the channel. Uh, this is way back from 2018 from memory. Ash landing a massive gummy shark. Uh, on this day, it was a bit of a challenge to fish. Um, we had a bit of wind, so we only had one little area in the bay we could fish. So we sat it out late, and at the last minute, we were just about to pack up. Bang, Ash is on. After a short fight, fish landing in the boat, and even better, we got to release it. So enjoy this massive gummy shark from our very first video on the channel. Let's get this. Oh, that's super heavy. I'm telling you, that's another 25 kilo drop. No. We'll just go slowly. How good was that massive gummy shark? Even better, we released it to fight another day. Coming in at number nine, we've got Ash again. We're offshore. It's a session after work, so we only had a couple of hours. Uh, to start the session off, we actually found some schools of salmon and had a bit of fun and a bit of a bait collect. And then we chucked the big gear in. Off we go, and uh, Ash hooks his biggest local southern bluefin tuna. Oh, yes, on, 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 you, you are. Nice. Took a long run. We are on again. How good is this? Arguments this time. Oh, there's a that sucker. There we go, another good one. That is an awesome fish. Look at the shape of those things. 
How good is that? Ash's biggest southern bluefin tuna to date. It's awesome. We can get out, chase them for a few hours after work, and you know, sometimes we catch them, sometimes we don't. That's how it goes. Now, next, number eight. It's Good Friday. We have a Mako Sharp at the boat. This trip was just one of those ones where nothing was working. We were fishing the local Good Friday Appeal fishing competition, and we were having no luck. So, Mako Shark wasn't part of the comp, but it was definitely a welcome surprise when this one showed up at the back of the boat. Oh, Mako, right here. Yep. Bring it up. Hey. Yeah. Feather, feather that. Bring that another one in. Chasing a gummy, look for a tuna. This guy showed up with a bit of burly. Beautiful eating so All right, there we go. How good is that underwater footage of that Mako shark? It's probably one of our favorite little clips we've uh, edited up for the channel so far. They always get the adrenaline pumping when they show up at the boat. Now into number seven. This is back in 2022. This was actually a little bit of a gift from Ash on my birthday. He'd already caught a snapper and he goes, right, it's your birthday, mate. You're up on the rods next, and sure enough, his one goes, and I've got a nice seven and a half kilo red. Beautiful fish. He might go about five and a half kilos, I reckon. Beautiful fish. 78 centimetres. Oh. Give an up. Have you got the light on? Another good one. Oh, I think I just had a hook pulled out. Hold it down. This is a big fish, I think. You don't want him back? Nah. nah. It's your birthday. Birthday fish. I don't know how like this. There's a lot of weight in this one. Right, ready? Yes. <laughs> that is the big one. Are you kidding? That's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good, good fish. It's about the Monster, rain. Western Port Red. 84 centimetres. I haven't weighed him yet. I'd say he's going to be about six and a half, I reckon. Big fish. How good is that? Big tail on him. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, well, there you go. That's our best red for quite a number of years. Thanks, Ash, again. You uh, come up with the goods with that present for me, mate. So thank you. Now, staying on the snapper theme, this one's our biggest red we've caught ever. This was in the middle of winter. This day was also a struggle. We had no electronics. Our sounder died earlier on in the day. So this was uh, flying blind. We were just using our eyes to locate areas on the land to sort of pinpoint roughly where we were. We dropped some baits in and after a few hours we managed a nice snapper in the middle of winter. I think it was June the 4th, 2016. So enjoy this clip. Oh no. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about that. 
This is no, that's another fish. This is an absolute monster fish, this. <laughs> is, is this playing? Yep. I can't do much here. I don't I'm need... guide him to you. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> you absolute gem. Bring him up nice and easy. Bring him up. This is where... Guide him to the net. Yes! Oh, grab him, grab him. <laughs> oh yeah! That is a fish! Yes! Oh yes! yes. <laughs> is that the biggest snapper you've ever seen? On. Don't snap me right. <laughs> oh man! Cut the leader, cut the leader off. Oh, look at that! <laughs> <laughs> Well, there we have it, our sixth best moment, that snapper, way back in 2016. Gee, look at that boat, our old little stagecraft we had. That was a fish catching machine, that thing. Anyway, into the top five now. So, number five, this is Ash's meter cod. Uh, this one's got a bit of a story behind it. Ash and his partner Kylie had been up on Lake Mulwala for a two week fishing trip together. They'd had some luck, they'd caught quite a few fish, but they'd also lost a couple of fish, and in particular, one big fish that was probably pushing the meter mark. But also, in the same two week period, they'd had a few issues with the boat, so they had a motor blow up, and they'd actually broken the electric motor as well. So, on the phone, he was texting me going, come up on the weekend, mate. Uh, bring up the two of steer motor, and we'll have a couple of days fishing with cod. We never actually got any of the fight on film. Uh, we got the hold up and the release. Uh, Ash was absolutely stoked with this. He's been chasing cod for most of his life and never got one anywhere near that size. A cod smack on one metre. Hold him sideways more. Yeah, that's it. So then I can get him in the shot. Look at that, one metre long. Have a look at this beast. What on the beauty. mega Pompey. And now Absolutely. we're going to have to get him over the side and release him quick. Then you might have to swim him a bit. Was that the pink and white Mega Pompey? No, the dark one. There we go. One metre Murray Cod. We've finally done it. Yeah, just let go. Oh, we're drifting away now. That's it. She's right. That's it. She's swam off. Look. Oh my god. Yes! <laughs> Finally! <laughs> Finally, we got it! How good is that clip of that Murray Cod swimming away into the night? Awesome. Ash's stoke levels, he was very on a very much on a high there. So awesome fish, Ash. Now, into number four. This is one of those trips again, we uh, actually targeted mako sharks out of the western entrance of Western Port and we had no luck on the makos, but we did manage a nice big bronze whaler, a gummy shark for the table and then at the end of the trip, again we were talking about packing up and the rod screams off and bingo, we were on to our first thresher shark. Oh. Yeah, get, get, nah, nah, you go. <sighs> Just be careful with this. Oh, yeah. yeah. My back's already. Yeah. Go. Right, now, next job. I want you to wind the other two rods right in. <laughs> this thing's got some power. Alright, can I grab the arm? Thank you. 
yeah, that's bigger than I thought. <laughs> oh, where's my phone? Look at the tail. Oh, I'm in shock. Let's, let's go. We've got an hour's drive, so. All right, there we have it. Number four, the thresher shark. That was an amazing fish. That's one we also always talk about. Um, that fish just, that was the most insane fight I've ever had. And to do it on the spin gear was even, even better. Um, yeah, just uh, speechless about that one. All right, number three. So this is uh, our first tuna we landed on a popper. So this trip, we had a bit of luck in the morning. We uh, managed to catch a couple of fish. Um, the Arvo just went quiet. The fish were up on the surface milling. Um, and when they're like that, they're very hard to catch. We had spent trips and trips casting poppers at them and just no luck. So it finally happened. We knew it was going to happen eventually and it finally happened. This fish smashed the popper, did a massive big run. I don't know if it pulled the hooks on the first fish and another one grabbed it or the fish was tangled, but in the middle of that fight, it all comes loose. Looks like I lost the fish, but anyway, this is our awesome first bluefin tuna on a popper. Ripples is not even them. It's just the, le the left. The oh! Yes! He ate the popper! Are you kidding? Oh! Yes! Yes! Oh! Was that him up top? What's that? Oh! Oh! That's what happened. Put a... Oh! That was sick! Oh my god! How was he just come up and went bang? Oh! Nah. Jump on the wheel and turn the motor on. No good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's better. That's way better. So we finally got one to eat a popper. It is milling on the surface. They've been so hard. How good is that? <laughs> Can you see it in there? Yeah. He just annihilated it. All right, there we go. How's that fish with that popper straight down the hatch? All right, into number two now. So this is our second best moment. Uh, this was an amazing trip. This is our first trip to Welsh Pool chasing kingfish. We had no idea really what we were doing. We knew this rough area of where we were going just through maps and a bit of word of mouth. We went out, struggled early. There's a few other boats catching them. Uh, eventually the Arvo bite switched on and uh, I managed one and then Ash managed a nice seven kilo king. So this was just one of those trips. It was one of those ones where it just worked. So. Yeah, enjoy Ash fighting his nice big king. Yes! Nice one. Oh, heaps of them! Big ones! Massive kings! Oh, shit! Yes! Nice one. Oh, heaps of them! Big ones! Massive kings! This could be a good one. Yeah, there was some monsters. <laughs> oh. I bet you'll line up. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Shut up. Just taking light. Oh, shit. Just keep me out of that bottom. Um, you have no idea how big they were. They were massive. Yeah. Oh, that's a beast! Oh yeah! Beautiful king. About seven, eight kilos, I reckon. <laughs> oh. I wish you had seen the ones that were in the water with us. That was mad.
All right, there we have it. Our second best moment. What a king. We love our kings. We will definitely be back down in Welsh pool chasing kings again in the future. Bring on those summer months. All right, now for number one. This one we discussed it a bit. It could have very well been that king or even the thresher or our first bluefin, but we decided that this would be our biggest southern bluefin tuna we've caught so far. 38 and a half kilos of local bluefin. This trip again, it was one of those mornings we were getting them and then it went quiet and at the end of the day, we hooked up. It was a massive fight, about 25 minutes, this fish just would not give up. He was hooked right in the end of the nose. Um, I still don't know how we were gonna, we even landed him, but uh, we did. So yeah, enjoy the nice big local bluefin we caught, 38 and a half kilos. Yep. Southern bluefin tuna. Look at this thing. What a weapon of a local bluey. <laughs> How sick is that? <laughs> How heavy is it? Oh, we're gonna try, we're gonna gut it, bleed it, we'll weigh it with the guts out. I reckon it's gonna be over 30 kilos clean probably. He's a beast. Well, there you have it. Our number one moment on the uh, Lander Rupert fishing. We were absolutely stoked when that tuna landed on the deck. So yeah, it uh, dwarfed a couple of the other ones we'd caught and already had in the esky. So yeah. Now let's wrap up the video. Uh, once again, I just wanna say a massive thank you to everyone who subscribed, commented, watched the videos, liked, whatever. It really helps my, uh, the channel grow. Uh, we're gonna keep trying to push out videos. We're just gonna have our fingers crossed for some better weather and we can get out and uh, start chasing these snapper. So yeah, once again, again, thank you. Please like, comment and subscribe and we will catch you in the next video.